Hey folks, welcome to the 17th devlog for Isometria. This week, I have some new items to introduce, some new enemies to introduce, a couple bug fixes, a few new features. Let's get started. The first thing I've added is a little bit of clay, which can be dug up from the dry clay deposits, as well as found in various blocks throughout the world. You can use the clay in a furnace to create bricks, which can then be created into brick walls. Brick walls and windows turned out great, and I hope you enjoy them too. Ranged weapons now show in their tooltips the number of projectiles they create, which is a little bit better than it was before. Before it was kind of uh, ambiguous. So that being said, the first new ranged weapon for this update is the cobweb. It shoots eight cobwebs that apply the slow debuff to anything it hits. It does a little bit of damage too. One of the other changes that's been made with ranged weapon is, is their projectiles will disintegrate when they hit the ground. Just for a little bit more visual appeal. Arrows broken, that sort of thing. Another new weapon, the double cross, has been added. It shoots two bolts, hence the name double cross. There are now three kinds of goblins in the forest. The Gobby, the Gobby Brute, and the Gobby Papa. The Gobby Papa is a magic mage, and he'll shoot fireballs at you, and the Brute is a, is a stronger, more healthy, armored Brute. Let's see him in action. The sand monster has been added to the desert. He is a monster that hangs out underground until he pops up real close to you and tries to attack you. You run away, he'll uh, drop back underground and move to your last known location. So he's just kind of hiding there, waiting for a... Uh, looking for you. Another thing that's been improved is units will now bounce off things to kind of get around them so instead of having getting stuck on rocks they kind of bounce around them now it's a lot better and you can still get them a little stuck but they'll eventually get out it's better than it was before another small but important change has been the addition of the name and background on any open container that the player might have clicked on just kind of makes it that much better i might change the colors according to what type of thing is open, what type of container is open. For instance, the wooden chest might be a brown versus the an iron chest might be, well, iron colored. The addition of an autosave feature has been introduced. Right now, the game will autosave every 10 minutes, so just in, just in case I've got some bugs in there and crash your game. So let's, uh, let's hope that doesn't happen and Hopefully you won't lose all your beautiful hard work. That's it for this week. I hope you folks enjoyed the latest devlog. Remember to like and subscribe this video and also check me out on Twitter at BigWhoopGames. Thanks. Bye.